Marita Koch, who holds the women's 400 meter world record from 1985. Today's athletes can't get to within a second and a half of her, which in 400 meter terms is sort of 15 meters. It's enormous. And Stasi papers that subsequently were released show that she's probably, or was probably, um, using steroids. Um, so today, there's very little incentive for female 400 meter runners to break the world record because it's, it's just 15 meters away from them. Um, so what we'd like to do is, again, have a debate <laughs> about ways in which iniquitous records can be expunged um, and or event regulations can be changed or tweaked such that you can start some of these again. The World Championships are coming to London next year in the Olympic Stadium. We would love those to be um, the first championships in a new era. That's very ambitious, but there are things that could be done for London that would give the public more confidence. We want to see the IWF engaging with us. You know, we're organising these championships, I'm the chair of them, um, to put in place some of these measures so that you can turn up at the Olympic Stadium and, and really believe what you're watching. I've had <coughs> a number of discussions with the IWF since that programme, and they have told me that the 2017 and 2019 bids by Qatar, Doha, um, have now been referred to their Ethics Commission. Um, and I'm delighted at that. And so my next conversation is going to be with that Ethics Commission to lay out all that I heard. It's abundantly clear there was systemic cheating, which went a very long way up the political ladder uh, in that nation. But RUSADA, the anti-doping agency, was domestically controlled, had it from the outset been controlled by WADA, and had WADA had the resources to exert that control, we may not be where we are now. And where we are now is a very ugly place. To preempt a question you might ask me, um, do I think they should be back in time for Rio? No, I don't. Not at all.